Well, WBZ exclusive tonight, the family of a young girl killed in a fall from a fourth floor window is talking publicly about her death for the first time and about their new mission. They're hoping to change the law to protect other children. And as Katie Brace shows us, to spare other families the pain they've endured. Okay. Pick up the umbrella. Even on the dreariest day, Zella Martin <laughs> brightened everyone up, especially her father, Kyle. She was the most beautiful little creature on this, on this planet to me. That was for two years, two months, and two days. Last October, the toddler fell out of this fourth floor apartment in Fitchburg, where she lived with her mother. They're kids. They get into trouble. That's what they do. Um, they're going to climb. Zella's family says her father worried about the side sliding windows that were not childproofed. Talking about the windows to everybody that would listen, if no one had a choice, about having those window safety guards on there, this wouldn't happen. We wouldn't be here. Tomorrow, a bill named for Zella is being introduced. If a child is age six or under and lives in the home, the landlord or homeowner must install window guards on windows on the third floor and above. The bill's sponsor, State Representative Colin Gary, points out New York has a similar law, and the safety measures can cost less than $20 a window. And they're very cheap to think about the amount of money that you're spending um, you know, to save a life. It, it, it really is minuscule. I'll never know his sister. Nine months old when she died. Zella's family never thought they would be in this spot. This could help one person, and I never really understood it until what we've been going through because that one person, that one child, could have been Zella who was saved if this had been law. Preventing another tragedy is one way for Zella to live on. The beautiful girl. We'll never see her again. In Boston, Katie Brace, WBZ News.